Hi there guys! I know I haven't updated in a while. I've been very busy with back to school and everything, so I'm sorry about that. So, just a small vlog like update I have is I'm still waiting for October 2nd, which will be my first uh, meeting with a specialist. And I'm really looking forward to that. I'm very eager and impatient about that. So I want it to come sooner and fast as possible. Um, I've been feeling a lot of dysphoria lately towards like facial hair, any kind of like facial um, hair growth. And so I would like to look into getting either laser hair removal or electrolysis sometime soon. So I'll give you an update on that if I find anything. And yeah, that's all that's happened so far unfortunately. I wish there was more I could tell, but there really isn't. It's a slow process right now, so just bear with me. Anyhow, today I wanted to do a video based on some knowledge I have uh, from my experiences about having a kind of androgynous look. So I wanted to show you a couple of looks that maybe you can try if you haven't transitioned yet or if you're thinking about transitioning, anything like that. I think that looking androgynous is a good way to bridge the gap between uh, pre-transition and post-transition because it kind of lessens the impact on everyone around you. I find that it also will be good for my wardrobe, I think, because I still have many articles of clothing that I'd like to keep, which is good. And I think all around it's a good idea, so I wanted to share it with you, and you can tell me what you think. So a lot of these looks are more centered towards fall looks, because the less clothes you wear, the more revealing you'll look. Blah blah blah. I found that looking more masculine made me more depressed and more sadder and so being able to be androgynous which is kind of the in-between I found that it gave me some relief and so if you're unable to be who you want to be right now then this is a way that you can kind of still break through not completely but enough so to tie you off for a while for me it was kind of a natural thing I naturally gravitated towards these clothings uh, because they, they felt most comfortable to me and most like my style and who I am and so that's why I chose these clothes. And I wanted to say hello and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, it means the world to me. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it and comment or subscribe. So this look is more of a fall look, I guess. It's probably my most worn look. It's a baggy long gray sweater with a gray scarf and skinny jeans that aren't too skinny. I find this scarf is great for if you have a thicker neck or a large Adam's apple to hide it. And the big sweater is good for camouflaging large shoulders. Same with this cardigan right here. It's long and baggy and the colors I really like are very toned down right now. This one's a little bit more eccentric of a look. Um, it's less casual. Uh, it's kind of like a nice blouse kind of thing. I like the blacks and whites. I'm a little bit of an eccentric person, so it fits my style. This is another large baggy sweater with skinny jeans as well. Uh, it has a lot of holes in it, so it's a little bit better for hotter weather because it's a bit breezy, which is nice. And this one here is a nice turquoise color, and I think mints and turquoises are very good for looking androgynous because it's not really a masculine light color and it's not completely feminine. And I really like cardigans like this as well that are a little bit smaller and tighter. You can wear them for more uh, formal events or if you want to look a little bit nicer one day. And I'm sorry for all of the obnoxious hair flips. I don't know what was happening. It must have been the wind, I don't know. And this look here is more for hot days. Uh, it's a like a type of tank top with a leather belt and skinny jeans as well. Sorry for the lack of pants change, I normally just wear skinny jeans. But I like this tank top because it's looser, and this shirt is also loose as well. It's probably my most worn look in hotter weather. It has a wider neck opening, which makes the shoulders look smaller, and it's loose and flowy, so it kind of masks any masculine figure that you might have. And overall, I guess the consensus is large baggy top and tight skinny bottom to accentuate the most feminine features on a masculine body. Thanks for watching.